Hello everyone, today we are looking at Family Guy. Yes, uh, Family Guy, one of my favorite series. Sorry, my dog is barking. Tried to do this, to do, sorry, tried to do this video like four times, but it kept saying the video was too long. So hopefully we get the right, the right amount of time to upload this video. I'm gonna reach out and do the first DVD. Uh, so yeah, we're not exactly starting with Family Guy, but it is the same humor, same guy. Ted. I have number two somewhere, but I got it from Thailand, and you know how Thailand are, is, sorry. Um, Thailand, you know, they give you the DVDs. They only give you the discs and some paper to wrap around it, you know, to keep it, to keep it a bit safe. So there really, there really is no point of showing you my Ted 2 DVD because it's only the disc. Um, but that's a, that doesn't matter. Ted 1. Uh, Ted 1 is very funny, very clever, and I love um, Ralph Garman and the girl who voices Lewis in this um, movie. Their reaction, Ted at the start is fantastic. I love this movie. I don't know why the cover is green, DVD is green, probably because weed is green and they smoke a lot of weed in this movie. And yeah, it includes the um, the collector's extended edition. Uh, sorry, I can't say extended without, you know, mumbling a tiny bit. The collector's extended edition with additional unseen footage. You also get to see, you know, Donnie, you know, Donnie at the end, the bad guy. Him as a little kid near the start. But yeah, very clever movie. Love the first head. I'm trying to go in the order I want. Sorry, I'm gonna pull these out. <sighs> there we go. All right, we're gonna. I have six seasons and then seven like specials or whatever. Um, but we're gonna start off with the Family Guy spoofs. We first have the Blue Harvest, which is a parody to. Uh, it's a. Um, sorry, a New Hope. People could. Um, you could call it, you know, just Star Wars, but I like to call it a New Hope to be a bit more specific. Uh, but yeah. Fantastic, it's great. I love what they do with these spoofs, they're very clever. There's three of them. Uh, this is not the best, but it's not the worst. I said I say this is like the middle one, you know? Um, the second best out of the three. But yeah, good. Uh, we have Luke, we have Luke playing um, uh, Luke and, I mean, sorry, Chris playing Luke and uh, Lewis playing uh, Leia. Uh, Princess Leia, and um, yeah, we have still years Darth Vader, who's fantastic, and yeah, just fan. It's just really, they're really clever spoofs. There we go. They all just fell. Doesn't matter. Um, we go straight on to it's a trap. It's a trap is not the best. Definitely not the best. Probably the least best, but it's still funny. None of these. Are, I'm just trying to straighten up the camera. Oh uh, yeah, um, but not none of them are bad. But this is this is probably the this is probably the least best. Um, it's still clever though, um, and I like it. It's pretty funny. Uh, if you love Star Wars and you love Family Guy, definitely check it out. Then we go straight on to so they all fell. So it's kind of confusing now. Um, we go straight on to something 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 Dark Side, which is my fav Family Guy Star Wars spoof. Love this one. Very funny. Uh, there's something about Stewie as Darth Vader in this one that I, that I just love. He's great in this one. Better than ever. It's probably, if, it's probably the funniest of them all. And if not the funniest, the most clever. I just love this one. Parody to Empire Strikes Back. And this one's a parody to Return of the Jedi. I don't like Return of the Jedi too much. That's probably why I didn't like it's a trap too much as well. But, um... And this one's still great. I love Empire Strikes Back. Love something, something Dark Side. Fantastic title. It's so clever. Um, but yeah, that's the title. Those are the um, the Star Wars spoofs. Then we go on to the episodes, pretty much, kind of, uh, because this is this is Family Guy. Family Guy Uncovered, uh, which is basically like the best of Family Guy. One, you know, one of those discs, one of those DVDs. You know, where it has a bunch of random episodes from Family Guy. And they put them on one DVD, but this is most of these episodes are from the um, are from the uh, the the earlier seasons, and as we all know, they're not, they're not the best seasons, um, obviously, because they're more toned down than any of the others. Um, but still, it's still funny, it's still clever. Um, but yeah, it's uncensored even though there's not too much to uncensor, you know. Um, but we have Stewie running naked, pretty clever cover. And yeah, it's good. It's fine. Uh, then we have a little special. Uh, I'm pretty sure this aired on TV. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, this is probably... It's just great. So clever. 
Road to the North Pole. I love this. It's so good. I'm so glad I have it. I just love it so much. I, this came with um, this came with a bunch of figurines, the main characters of the main characters, you know, from um, the the special, and it also can't. It also came. It also came with uh, Happy Frickin' Christmas, which is another Family Guy special. Uh, yeah, I remember. I obviously remember more about Road to the North Pole than I do with Happy Frickin' Christmas, but I'm um, still very good. Very just so it's just so funny over the top, and um, it gets very violent towards the end. And yeah, it's just great. I think that's better than any of the Star Wars parodies combined. I just, even though I love the Star Wars parodies, I just love Road to the North Pole, Road to the North Pole, so much. It's great. Um, then we go straight on to the um, Best of Family Guy, which is basically like the same to Family Guy Uncovered, but um, but um, you know more over the top. Uh, complete opposite when it kind when it comes to like how over the top and adult it is. Um, but yeah, great. Uh, all the episodes are really funny. It has three discs in it. Like most of the Family Guy DVDs I have, they all have three discs. Very, very funny. Uh, the classic episode collection. They're very good episodes, I have to admit. They, um, we have Stewie sitting there with his drinking his wine. I love this cover. All of them have great cover design. Um, but yeah, very, 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 very funny. All the episodes on that. So good, so violent, and I love that. I love when Family Guy, you know, is just so over the top, you know, like especially with the violence. I just love the Family Guy violence, and when it goes down, it's great. Um, then we go straight onto the seasons. Uh, this we're going to start off with the first season. Um, this is definitely definitely not the best season because it's very it's toned it's, it's just toned down. It's um, watered down, even though it's not like the kids watered down. But it's a bit, you know, it's less inappropriate, less adult than any of the uh, later season, later seasons. Um, sorry, it's way more watered down than the later seasons um, because it does have an M rating, not M A or R, like they should. Um, but yeah, still very, it's clever. It's a good kick off to the series. Um, it was two thousand. It was nineteen ninety nine, I believe. Um, There's no point in turning this video off just because someone walks in the background. I'm sorry. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. But yeah, it's, okay, it's an okay season. Um, yeah, nothing too much to say other than that it's probably like the least best season. I don't want to say worst because it's not bad because usually worst is... It's, it's, you, the, the word worst is usually used for really bad movies. Uh, or TV series. This isn't bad. It's just the least best. I have I haven't got season two, three, or four, but I do have number five. It's pretty much the same to season one, but it is a bit more adult, even though it's not really adult. Um, it's a bit more over the top. A bit more of the Family Guy, and uh, we've grown to love. And we have Stewie on the back firing his champagne bottle gun, which is pretty smart. Classic Stewie. It's got three discs and stuff, so not much to say, you know, kind of similar to season one, kind of similar, but yeah, fine, I don't, I don't remember too much about this season, but it's still uh, funny and clever from what I can remember, I'm going to have to bend down to get these, which one should I get next, sorry, I'll be right back. <sighs> sorry about that, okay, season eight. Season 8 is a fantastic season. This is a classic season. Every single Family Guy um, episode that I absolutely adore is from Season 8. We have the horse episode, the jackass episode. Another person is walking in. Yep. Uh, but yeah, the jackass episode. Just all these episodes in this season are absolutely adorable and funny. Over the top. And just absolutely awesome. I just, I just love these episodes. Every time, like someone says, "Let's watch Family Guy," I just go straight to season eight. Just great season, very great season. I also, I just, my favorite episode is definitely the Jackass, the Jackass um, episode where they reenact Jackass. It's probably my favorite episode of the entire series. Which one's next? Try and reach down for it. 
there we go. Okay, season nine. Not a bad season, but it's not, it's not the best. Definitely not the best. It's funny though. It's, um, I love the episode, you know, where they're like in the past. Um, yeah, like like a hundred, like more than a hundred years ago in the past. Um, it's a pretty funny episode. But um, yeah, funny season. Um, again, it's pretty similar to season eight. It's a bit less, you know, a bit less good and. For the third time, someone is about to walk past. In three, two, one. Bang. Hopefully that's the last time that happens. Sorry. It's happened three times. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Let's get this video done. <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, so yeah. Season 9. Good. It's fine. Again. Kind of similar to Season 8. Um, but less good. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get these two. Uh, back. I'm back. Uh, sorry I've been gone for so long. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah. Let's go straight to season 13, which is a good season. Uh, celebrating the 200th episode. Funny season. Look, it's not, look, it's not the best, but it is fan fucking tastic. It's great. <laughs> I know. I know. I kind of changed my mind up. Um, Kind of quickly, but it is a very good season. It is very, very clever. Um, but yeah, classic family guy right here. Love the cover. You know, it's black and white. Stewie and I'm pretty sure they go back in time um, in this season. And yeah, three discs, uh, just like the rest. And yeah. Then we go on to the last season that I have, and the last DVD I have, and this is the uh, season that Brian dies, Life of Brian, has that episode in this season, and it, it is season 14. Uh, this is the collector's edition, uh, with the slip cover, same artwork, um, but yeah, this have, it actually includes Life of Brian episode script. So that is very special. Um, oh yeah, doesn't have. Yeah, someone's taken it out. It is somewhere in my room though. I'll try and find it and show you guys in a separate video. But yeah, very good season. Of course, try and put the. There we go. Uh, yeah, of course the um, front cover is impersonating, is reenacting uh, Cinderella uh, with uh, Pri and Prince played by Peter. Uh, Cinderella is Lewis, the carriage is Joe, uh, the horse is Brian, the two stepsisters are Stewie and Meg, the, the, the stepmother uh, is Lewis's mum, and the fairy godmother is, who is that again, Adam West or something, I don't know, is he like a teacher at Christmas school, I'm pretty sure he is, something West, sorry I should know, but I haven't seen this show in a long time, I actually watched it a couple of days ago. Forgive me, um, but yeah, <laughs> funny season. Yeah, so guys, that's all um, for now. I will try and collect more Family Guy stuff um, over the next few weeks, you know, try and get more seasons. But for now, sorry people have walked past a few times. It's been a long video. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, everyone, and bye.